so many people around the world like this if you think about it it's like this orchestra uh now of people saying it's the end of the empire you know what everyone thinks of bricks or multipolarity you know we can get into that discussion i don't buy it but nevertheless it it's it is like the decline of the west and it's almost like the, the american financial system is going to collapse and um and then the yeah, I think it's going to be nuts. And they might start war, like real war. You know, it seems like they're pre preparing to go, like really go to war with like World War III style with Russia. That that kind of just feels like that's in the air, the, like a real direct conflict, confrontation. Um, and then with when if that goes off, we're off to the races. It's like everything's on the table now. Um, there's talk of nukes and then the economic stuff. And, you know, people that I interview, like Daniel Rancourt, who say COVID was a war simulation, almost, you know, who knows? I mean, yeah. Ha have you changed any of your pro prognostic? Uh, pro uh, how do you say? Uh <laughs> Prognostications? Yes. Um, mm, no, uh, I haven't, unfortunately. Um, and so far, it seems like the events that we've seen so far this year have uh, held to that forecast, unfortunately. Because, uh, again, this is one of those things where I don't necessarily want to be right about it. I'm just looking at the progression of events and where it's heading. You know, it doesn't take a genius to figure these things out. Um, 